SummerSlam has concluded, and this is my 2023 SummerSlam reaction, starting off with the first match of the night, and probably a top three match of the night, in Logan Paul versus Ricochet. And this was overall just a fun match. Ricochet took the L, but he still gained a lot of steam from it. It opened the match because Logan had to get his fight. Um, I, um, I, I'm iffy about how the match ended with Logan with the brass knuckles, but other than that, I thought it was an overall good match. I'm going to give it a solid, like, 3.5, 3.75, maybe 4 stars. I say 3.75. Next up, not the second match of the night, I just took the same, basically, video from Friday and just did an audio over it, uh, is Ronda Rousey versus Shayna Baszler. Oh my god, was this match awful. It was so, so bad. I mean, MMA and WWE just doesn't work. Like, if you're watching WWE, you're trying to imagine, you're trying to take the fact that it's not real out of your head. You're pretending it doesn't exist, and that's it. I'm, like, the fact that it's not real doesn't exist, is what I'm saying. But when you have an MMA match, which is completely like, these guys, these people are beating the absolute shit out of each other, that's when you have a problem. And that just, this match just didn't work. Maybe should have had rounds. Maybe should have had an octagon. I think it should have just been like a fight pit match. But... But yeah, just I'm giving that match maybe one star. No, actually no, I'm gonna give it two stars. Next up is the SummerSlam Sim Slim Jim Battle Royal, and this match was I thought really good. I thought you had the right person winning in LA Knight, which was good, and it told so many stories inside one match. You had the Miz and Grayson Waller teaming with each other. You had Chad Gable looking like the underdog. You had Sheamus and LA Knight recreating that spot that they failed on Friday. I mean, it was really overall just a, an excellent battle royal. You had Omos return, everyone teaming up on Omos. That was good. I'm going to give this match three and a half stars. I thought it was really good. Next up, we have Gunther versus Drew McIntyre for the Intercontinental Championship. Um, This match was just all right. You know, it, it wasn't great. But it definitely wasn't below average. I mean, it was just a solid match overall. I mean, it, I mean, it almost got overhyped a little bit. Because these two are excellent performers. And Guthrie has many great performers with people from overseas. Those big, those, I guess you'd say brawling brutes with Sheamus. And you had Sheamus and Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania 39. But overall, this match was just okay. I'm going to give it three stars. Next up was another match I thought was, I think it's better than Drew McIntyre's match, but it's definitely not one of the best matches of the night. It's Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar. And I like the storytelling in this match of Brock trying to beat down Cody so much that he has to get a count out. Um, this match should have had stipulation as I said on Friday, and apparently it did. It was a no DQ, but not an analysis because Cody absolutely hit Brock with those steel steps and it was just ridiculous how he wasn't disqualified but overall solid match like once we got back to in-ring action and Cody Rhodes wasn't just trying to get counted out every time this was a pretty solid match um what else do I have to say about this match uh Brock Lesnar shorts ripped and um Cody Rhodes got embraced by Brock Lesnar after the match and overall solid match. I'm going to give it 3.25 stars. Next up, we have what I think is the best match of the night. We have Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor. I was correct in my prediction in that Seth Rollins would win. Um, the whole sequence where the Judgment Day came out, he jumped off the top rope, took out Damien, then curb stomped Dom, and then Finn came back. He hit a, he hit a swing blade. And then he hit a drop kick in the corner, and then a coup de gras, and Seth kicked out. I was watching this with my friend, and we all we both thought that that um that Finn was gonna win that at that point. Um, the whole thing about Damien trying to get Finn to win, but Finn keeps saying stick to Plan A, and the fact that Damien gave Finn the briefcase, and then Finn was reaching for the briefcase, Rollins beat him with it. That was overall good as well. Um, I'm going to give this match 4.25 stars. I think it was the best match of the night. Next is the women's triple threat between Asuka, Bianca, and Charlotte. And I was wrong in the fact that Io didn't cash in, but we'll get to that later. Um, this match was really sloppy, to say the least. Um, 
There was a lot of spots that just didn't hit. Um, when Bianca faked that injury, I thought she was injured for real. Oh my, she was she was perfect at selling that. I couldn't tell if it was a work or not. I had a feeling it was a work, but oh, I, I thought it was real. But um, Asuka spring chart with the mist in the figure eight was perfect. I I disagree. I said I would I would be okay with Bianca winning, but even though Bianca won, I was kind of upset. Now that like I kind of regretted saying that, especially on a roll up on the champion. That's just not how it's supposed to go. But EO cashing in saved this a lot. Without the EO cash in, this is maybe like a three star match. I'm gonna give it 3.25 with the EO cash in. And yeah, just feels good to have an EO EO as champion. And the fact that Dakota Kai, I don't know if she's back to in ring work, but yeah, it was nice to have her return. In the final match of the night, the main event, Roman Reigns versus Jey Uso in tribal combat. This. On WWE's website, they said no interference. You saw that from Solo. Overall, this match was cooking until Solo interfered. That slowed it down. That brought me out of it. It was just overall a bad decision. And I'm fine with Roman winning, but I he. This was one of the first matches where I was like, okay, this interference is get it's getting ridiculous. With Jimmy Uso turning on Jay, I kind of get it, but at the same time, I kind of don't. I think this is going to lead to a Bloodline Fatal 4-Way. And yeah, overall, I'm going to give this match... I'm going to give this match 3.75, maybe 4 stars.